the URL that you're seeing here, the website that you're seeing here is Intel Dialog Cloud. So this provides you an interface to access the latest and greatest hardware that's available for Intel for data center requests requirements. Um, so all the way from the Xeon processors uh, all, to um, the GPUs, the data center GPUs, series GPUs, or the Mac series GPUs. Also, you could access a bunch of instances from uh, this URL. So uh, I'm just going to go sign in here. The water is signed and it gives to be this page where you have option to select the type of instance that you want to launch. Like I said, uh, you have access for the Mac series GPUs, Flex series GPUs, and the first generation of uh, available as uh, bare metal systems out here, right? So for this uh, example that we are going to select uh, this configuration of uh, uh, the Flex 170 series GPU uh, along with the fourth generation processors. Yeah, fourth generation processors. So this comes with an operating system of Ubuntu 22.1 and uh, has all the basic drivers that you need to run your demo. Right. So once you select the uh, requested system, you can just go here and click on launch and click here to request access. You type in your company name and allow why you want to. Um, why do you want to access the systems? And uh, when you click on request access, request instance, uh, it goes for approval, which should be done in 24 hours. So I've done, already done this uh, process. So I have an instance listed to me, uh, which is available out here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to access the system now. I go to terminal. and access the EU. Great. So as you can see, I have uh, got a bunch of variables that's going to be run and uh, are sourced here as such through shell script. So uh, for this demo, we'll be using the big DL framework. So the big DL framework has multiple components into it, and the latest component is the Big deal LLM. So this enables you to run large language models on uh, Intel hardware. Uh, so this could run your models at uh, int4 quantization. And uh, specifically with GPUs, uh, you have option to access it through the uh, the uh, Transformers plugin uh, and also uh, you have native support for uh, Langchain plugins, right? And as you can see that like you have examples to run uh, various models. Uh, so you have option to run Llama 2, but by extension, all its variants as well as code Llama, the latest uh, model from um, for code uh, generation, right? So you ha also have other models like Star Coder, uh, Falcon, uh, well, and also a Whisper, right? So you've got all these different models out here. And let's, if we click on Llama, you can see um, the steps as such to run the model, right? So first you go ahead and create a Conda environment and install the required libraries for it. Uh, specifically, you're gonna be installing a uh, big deal LLM. So when you install this uh, version of the uh, big deal LLM, it by default installed the Intel PyTorch extensions uh, to .o for XPU. Uh, so this utilizes the uh, optimizations available through all API library, right? So once you get installed everything, you source the uh, environment variables and, and set a couple of co configurations for, for optimization. And so once you do, do that, you're good to go. So what are you gonna do is uh, we've already done that and we've logged into the system. So uh, let's go and start our Jupyter Lab. So that you get run the instance, right? So I'm selecting this URL and just pasting it over here. See that not because getting it. Fantastic. Now let's add another terminal. So this terminal we're gonna watch the GPU utilization. And to do that, the command would be The XPU SMI. 
So XPU SMI gives you uh, information about the hardware. So about uh, what is the utilization for uh, various uh, engines that start in the GPU, um, the, uh, the utilization from a memory standpoint, and as you can see, that the memory utilizes zero and the, the compute engine interest is also zero over here, right? All right, let's uh, jump into the code. So if, from a code standpoint, if you look at it, uh, the, the first uh, four inputs are pretty straightforward, right? So if you're gonna use a Llama model, then you would have to use a Llama tokenizer. And uh, we'll also see this uh, demo on how you can uh, use the, uh, the uh, big DL based uh, wrapper to run the Llama 13 billion model on to your uh, Flex 170 series GPUs, right? And the way we're gonna run it is through um, through creating a LLM chain and sort of uh, running inference uh, to show that you can directly use this as a drop-in replacement for the default auto model casual LLM that comes with uh, the Transformers library, right? Uh, so these were the regular ones and uh, two additional ones. This one specifically for um, the additional optimization that you get from Intel PyTorch uh, extensions. Uh, so you import that and also you change the, um, instead of the default uh, auto model for cache LLM being imported from transformers, you import it from the big deal uh, library, right? So let's go ahead and run the imports and we specify what model we want to run here, right? So point to note, it's 13 billion uh, chat model from Llama. That's what you're going to run. And uh, rest of the stuff is like pretty typical, right? So if you look at the utilization for automotive cash LM, uh, cash, cash LM, you specify uh, the model name for the, uh, to load it from the hugging face hub. So load it in four bit indicates that you want to do, uh, you want to work with the precision type of in four, right? Um, and also the regular other parameters are like just the regular ones that typically do it, right? Uh, once you created, once you've instantiated your model, you move it to your XPU, meaning here you're gonna be uh, moving into your uh, uh, GPU device, and uh, then you instantiate your tokenizer as well. Let's just do that. Since uh, my model has already been downloaded, it's just directly uh, loading the checkpoints straight away. Great. Now uh, what we do, is uh, then we create a custom wrapper for the LLM uh, class that we've imported from um, the lang chain, right? So this uh, is where you uh, create, you take your input prompts, tokenize it, and uh, and move the tokenized uh, prompts to the XPU device. So uh, once you have the uh, input tokenized, then you pass it to the model to generate your outputs, right? And here we're gonna set the maximum token size as 512. And uh, once you have the results, uh, you're gonna decode it um, with the tokenizer and then publish the results, right? So this is a simple uh, function within your class, the custom LLM class, because uh, uh, this is the configuration expected by a lang chain, right? So we just create this custom LLM class and then we go and create our uh, uh, prompt template, right? So we uh, we give the basic system instructions, what's needed for the model, and uh, the uh, text, the input text that we uh, pass as an input for the model gets passed uh, as this variable text, as a placeholder text, right? So you do that, and you also specify what prompt, what's the final prompt, and what's the LLM that's gonna be used by the LLM chain. So you create those, now you start your inference. Now, before starting an inference, you can see that the GPU is closely like 50% uh, utilized. And the GPU, uh, from a memory standpoint, uh, from a compute engine standpoint, it's like 0% utilized, right? So let's go ahead and run our inference. It's running. See that close to 60% is being utilized here. Being placed to 64. And finally, you have the output, right? So you have the list of uh, different uh, recommendations in terms of series that you would like to watch. And say, if I go and query the model, what who are the uh, main characters of stranger things, it's going to give me a result. And you can see that the GPU utilization is, is like 
going up to 100 percentage here right so all the computation is happening in the gpu and yeah you have your output as the main characters which who are like um, being listed here right? so this way you could uh, you could create a custom llm wrapper uh, and you can use it lang chain you also have instructions here on how to um, how to uh, use it with Langchain natively, right? So you have uh, LLMs, uh, LLM uh, drop in replacements for uh, Langchain LLMs, as well as drop in replacements for your uh, embedding models. So yeah, this is how you could use your Intel Flex Series GPU, Flex Series 170 GPU um, for uh, LLM inference. Right. Thanks.